Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is the two week follow up of the real world durability test between these fine competitors, starting off with the new and old versions of Shiny Wax, uh, Adams' ceramic spray coating and graphene ceramic spray coating. And then we're looking at Sonax's super popular polymer net shield compared to their new ceramic spray coating. Uh, basically, kind of like a, a new versus old, V1 versus V2, uh, magic pixie dust versus regular dust, uh, if you will. Um, and so it's been two weeks on the car, on the hood, um, through some fairly miserable weather. Uh, a lot of fog, a lot of really cold temps, a lot of uh, uh, some freezing. One day we got a tiny smidge of snow, but uh, yeah, it hasn't been pleasant, uh, and none of these guys got a, a vacation or a break there, so uh, lots of like road salt, all the kinds of great stuff that makes waxes and stuff fail. So um, it's going to be a good test, because two weeks in, you, you know, these guys are in the $45 range. Um, you'd expect them to be pretty unfazed after two weeks, but as you'll see, moving on. Uh, I'm going to overlay the footage, so I'm going to talk. Uh, it might not quite line up with what you see, but bear with me. The first clip will probably be just the straight rinse off, and you're going to see that the Sonax is on the far right. The graphene and the ceramic spray coating from Adams are in the middle, and Shiny Wax V1, V2 is on the far left. So the old products are on the back half of the hood, so old, 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 and the new products are on the front half. And what you'll gather from the initial behavior is that the old and new are fairly even. And then I'm gonna switch now into foam, or maybe I already have. The foam will be to see how they sheet the snow off, how they sheet the foam off, if they have enough strength to push off the paint. And you'll see that really only Sonex can shift it with any authority, both of them. And then after that, you're gonna see the um uh you're gonna see after the wash which is just with the regular uh 3d nano pale uh super soap which is about a 1200 or so 1300 to one concentration and i used it at that i used a cap full and almost five gallons so it's very mild um and you'll see the rinse off after that without a wet wipe and then after that it's followed up with a wet wipe and what you're going to notice is that Everyone's very equal to its stable mate, its, its replacement or its sibling. Um, the Shinies are about the same speed, the Adams guys are about the same speed, and both the Sonics are at the same speed. And the other overarching theme you'll see here is the Sonics ones are killing it. The Adams ones are doing okay, but they definitely slowed down a bit between first application and two weeks in. Not great weather, totally understandable, but they should be able to handle that. They're pretty expensive. And I've seen them last through some fairly gnarly conditions. So I'm going to let it go to the one month point. And at the one month point, if the hydrophobics are really bad, I'll try a decon, uh, tar and iron. Uh, I don't have a mineral spot remover. I don't have a ton of hard water here. We're pretty fortunate in that regard. But if nothing comes back, I will go get mineral spot, water spot mineral remover and try it. Uh, and see if anything comes back because I really don't, <laughs> I really don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Not in my climate. And this car didn't spend every day outside. It did have some garages overnight and uh, um, and a day or, or two where it didn't commute. So yeah, it's man like top marks. Now the only real gripe people have with polymer net shield is that it's not slick, but from what I can tell, I haven't checked the test panels yet. I've got them all set up. We'll be doing that over the weekend probably. But from what I can tell, the, the, the spray coating isn't much slicker. So if you're coming in there looking for something to grease lightning, uh, sorry to disappoint you, but it doesn't feel that much slicker. But they are really holding up well so far and just super aggressive water behavior. So. They've got that cracked. They've got it. The BSD, PNS, and now this. They all have awesome hydrophobics. Um, 
their ceramic coating does too, but I haven't played with it, so I don't know how long it lasts. But so far, I'm really impressed for like $23, $22 or whatever it is for the bottle. Um, the Shinies are really struggling. They're obviously not meant for this. They probably would benefit from going over top of like a coating. Um, and then yeah, the ceramic sprays, I'm kind of disappointed in, especially at their price point. But we'll probably revisit some of these guys in the summer months and see how long they last then. Uh, I know here in the um, in the spring, the pollen is pretty harsh and I've seen products fail within a month as well from pollen. So overall, I have a really miserable climate for a lot of the year. So we'll see how it goes, but I want to do, I do want to revisit these during summer months as well, just to make sure that what I'm seeing is just an un, uncommonly bad winter that we're having with lots of prolonged cold temperatures, lots of snow and just miserable road conditions with flooding and you know, they've been dumping antifreeze uh, slurry stuff on the roads almost every night because it's been below zero every night for the last while. So that's what's kind of killing these guys for the few that are dying. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how things look uh, at the one month mark. And, you know, we'll try a decon if we have to. But I, uh, I don't know if after only a month it's going to actually matter that much. And just a heads up, this car won't be commuting anymore starting tomorrow. So it won't see as much time driving, which will, you know, probably make these last a little bit longer and slow the degradation that they've been seeing. Um, but it also means that my results might not be quite as accurate as somebody who does a lot of commuting or someone who, you know, is a daily driver every day. So it will be a garage overnight and it will be garaged probably for some days. I'm going to try and kit it outside, at least so there's some wear and tear on it, but... If it doesn't go out, it doesn't go out. So anyway, thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.